Good day, everybody. Harley here. I'm playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, if you can see. Right up there. Anyway. Today, as you can tell, I've got a fair bit of cash in my pocket. I've got quite a few levels done. And, um, yeah, we're just going to go and see what car I can buy. And then re uh, restore pretty much. Just add a barn to the map. We'll go off and visit the barn. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, two nice cars. Let's see what's in here. Skyline. I don't need any of those. No, we'll take that case though. Thirteen thousand four ninety one. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll send that straight to the garage. Let's see what this one is. Nice. How much? Thirty seven. A little pricey, but I shall buy it. Straight to the garage. So we have two decent, uh, decent vehicles that I can upgrade. I'll buy the case as well as I leave. So this is what we got. We got a Fairlane and a Mustang. This is a 2005 Ford Mustang GT convertible, as most of you can probably see. It says convertible, but it's not. Oh well. I'll move it to number two. Then I'll move the Fairlane to number one. And then one more place I'd like to go and have a look is the junkyard. Just to go and have a gander. See what's there. If there's anything decent, I'll pick it up and we'll go and restore it as well. Sorry guys, it takes a second or two to load. Oh, right there, found one. We have a Dodge Challenger Hank Hellcat Hemi Speed Rider. And you know what? I'm definitely buying it. And it's going straight to the garage. Another Mustang, we've already got one. Whoop. Ooh, if only. If only it had more body, pe body pieces to it, body parts to it.
bolt cape. Yep, I'm getting that one. Actually, maybe not. It's only six, six cylinder. Ugh. Get good. Get a V8. Oh. Rolls Royce Dawn 8. I want a hundred thousand for it in this condition. When I can make nine hundred thousand profit, that's going to the parking lot. That will be a future videos one. It's just what I think it is. My dream car. A GTR 32. Buying that, yes thank you, going to the garage. Now the C10 will have to wait. Alright guys, we've got We've got what we wanted, well, a couple of things that I want. <laughs> so, we'll leave, and I'll start work. First, I'll do the Fairlane, then the Mustang, and if I have time, the 32. If not, the 32 and the Hellcat will be in a different uh Ooh, that ch colour has to change. That's at first. All oh, right. Fair lane first, people. I'll finish the fair lane first. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. That one. I'll finish the Fairlane first, then I shall do a bit of a uh, parking lot tour. The cars that I have, and the cars that I'm keeping, and the ones that I still have to do. Oh, bugger. That's not real light. Okay, so that's the engine it's stuck with. Go over here. Oh. And I forgot to open the case. What do we get? Fair enough. All righty then. Now, parts. Uh, doors fine, windows are not. License plates disappear. Okay, so windows. Looking for Think that's what I needed? Yeah, they should do it by name. Two left, yikes. So 
had both of the front near to the rear. My bad, got it now. It's all good. Okay, so all body parts are done. First things first, I've got to try and get in there and put the roll cage back in. Then we can do the rest. Even though I don't like the colour white that much on vehicles, this thing looks pretty pretty mean with white. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Every now and then the game glitches a little bit, but uh, it's alright. So, take off all the suspension, everything underneath the car, including the gearbox, the drivetrain, the axles, the exhaust. I'll repair as much of it as, it, as, it, of it as I can. I'll repair it. Like I'm having a stroke, damn it. <laughs> Take out the fuel tank, it's a little bit rusted, but that will need to be replaced. I want this car mint condition. Ooh, that's right, there's a battery in the boot of this one. I keep forgetting about that. I tell you, if only working on a real car was this easy. <laughs> My vehicle downstairs would be up and running again. Well, hopping, up and running in a better condition than what it is. back into it. Pull out the gearbox because the engine will not come out while the gearbox is on. Uh, now taking all the front off pretty much. So normally when you do when you do this you get all the cars you like, do them up, then sell them, make a profit and then keep doing it. But there are some cars that I will not sell if I find them. I've already got one sitting in my uh, parking lot, which if I can finish this quickly I shall give you a demonstration or a tour of. Come on, stop being silly. Just the tedious part of taking everything apart, I guess. Come 
comes out. And that. Like that. There you go. Most of the steering, all the, all of the steering components are now removed, as well as all of the suspension components. They are all removed now as well. Drop the car down so I can get this battery. Battery's out. Come over here, throw the battery on charge. Wow, that was really dead. Come back over here. And now I have to repair as much as I can. Whoops, that's two pieces I think I've broken now. Three pieces. <laughs> okay. So now we go to suspension and see what's I couldn't fix. Actually, a fair bit. Yikes. Okay, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Remove that. Tire. Second tire. Suspension's now completely pulled apart. So yeah, we're doing Fairlane first. As soon as that's done and sold, I've got to take it for a test, couple test drives and stuff like that. I will then go into the car park and I will show you everything that I have got and I'm working on. Damn, I also just broke one of the rims. Yikes. Retro 1, 16. Hmm. Retro 1B thought so. Perfect. Back to the rims, get rid of that one. Suspension tires. Two hundred sixty five sixteens. What type of tire are they? Sport. Okay. Damn. I don't like that, but that's what we got. Okay, so what parts do we need? Double, front, everything that goes with it, okay. Remember E. I think it was front sway bar, just standard front. No, that's a little bit of a waste of money. one leaf. Ah, dang it. Now I need to remember. 
B. I just saw that I need. I just remembered I need a new fuel tank. Six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Try and get as much money out of this as you can by selling all the old and slightly or completely damaged parts. The more money you get, the more money you have and the better vehicles and stuff you can get. Sway B, Hopper. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, that's pretty much all of that. Uh, suspension uh, brakes, what do I need? Oops. Didn't finish doing the brakes. Okay, cool, sweet, brakes. That'll work. Okay, sweet. So now all of the suspension's done. All of the brakes are done. Now Whoops, I just got to put them all back together. Good. I keep just about taking them apart. Unfortunately, this machine takes a little while. The tire balancer always has, always will. I've I've done this job a fair bit in that one when I was doing all my uh, all my school work stuff like that. We used to have to do it for work experience at school, and yeah. Looking at the weights here, they're just about right already too. Same amount of dishes on there, like the actual plastic dish part. It's just about accurate, to be honest. They both are. Okay. Well, so I'm cheating a little bit here. Going forward and buying the couple bits and pieces that I know I'll need a little, little later. So I don't have to go back under it now. Well, when I'm just about finished. And try and figure out why the car's not going anywhere.
the thing that normally takes the most time re rebuilding a car in this game is uh, trying to do the engine. With, with an older engine, <coughs> they've got um, obviously push rods and rocker arms and all that type of stuff through it. And uh, yeah, in the game, you can't just, it doesn't have like a, well, there's not a mod to do it quicker. So when you have to take them all out, you have to take them all out one by one, which is a massive, massive pain in the ass. Uh, there's no way to do it quicker, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, some cars uh, in this game are lucky because they have uh, <coughs> twin cam, so there's no rocker arms at all. Well, quad cam, like I've seen some of them in here, but... Okay, cool. Back is done. I need to race over here. I'll grab the battery. It's done as well. Actually, before I do that, I shall take out the engine. There we go. Scheiser. So yeah, pretty much I'm trying to get this put back together as quick as possible. I'm trying not to forget anything. Awesome. That side done. Come on. Well, there we go. No longer have to worry about missing bushes. Here we go. Hmm, really? I swear I bought two of them. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, there you go. Suspension done. Lower it back down. Brand new battery going in. Well, pretty refurbished battery. Now, over to here. That's a sorry excuse for an engine.
Okay, so where shall I start? Taking away the rest of the gearbox stuff first. Exhaust manifold. Also, the wires. Spark plugs as well. Twin card, nice. Twin four barrels. Now that's no slouch for it. No slouch at all. Uh, so there is two little clips on this one. See, that's what happens when you try to go too quick. The game's just sitting there going, no, I don't like it. You can slow down. Okay, belts, SERP, two of them. Power steering and alternator now out. Water pump is off. Timing cover. Whoops. Off. Timing chain, gear, and pull the cam out. Now this is what I'm talking about when I say it takes forever. Like, um, I wish they'd put in a mod or a script that just, when you've got to do them all like this, when you're just rebuilding an engine, you just pull it all apart at once. And just think, I've got to do this again. I won't edit it down or out either because I'll show you what it's like to just redo an entire engine from from this game And the Mustang, which we'll, I will do after this one, has the better engine design in this game, I reckon. holding it in. <sighs> 
there we go now over here see how much I can repair then how much I can sell so now we we'll go to the engine by name it comes in brilliant what do I need so cam gear Oh, bugger, it was a cap, not the... <laughs> whoops! That was a bit of a, an expensive... whoops. Okay, so, fuel tank, a replacement fuel tank, piston rings. I already did this, didn't I, guys? Hang on. Yes, I did. That was another nearly expensive and really expensive mess up on my part. Now, what was I looking for? Piston rings. Thirty-two. Valve push rod. Another 32 of them. Now, come into the rockers, and now I sell them. All the ones that I do not need. I think I may have overbought them. I think it's 16 that I needed. Yep, 16. Whoops. Oh well, lesson in future. Don't just spam by. Now, we are doing engine stuff, so, you can go to a tuna place to do this, oh well, in the, thing. see, look, power boost tuning shop, go to the engine, so look, straight up, alternator, and then you got your OHV cam, 
E two four barrels. HV engine heads. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, there, one, two, got those. So, what I need is distributor. Distributor cap. V8 twin carb. Eight pistons power steering. That. Eight spark plugs. Now we're pretty much set. Oops. Actually, no, I'll need it that way. Whoops, that's the other thing I forgot. My bad. Timing chain. Oops. <coughs> oh, I didn't do the gearbox either. Now, back out, boom. Where are you, where are you, where are you? That one. Get box, that one. Uh, looks so nice up there. That needs to go. That I forgot to get. And I still forgot to get the gearbox stuff. 
And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And one, two, three. Engine. That. That can go. Oops. I need the other. In the other engine cover. Timing goes back over the top. That that Whoa. Now how did I miss that? Water pump pulley. How did I forget that? Uh, see what I mean about it taking forever to get through these little bits? <laughs> I don't think I'll get to the Mustang in this video. Maybe the next one. Well, definitely the next one. Here it comes. There you go. Yep, I bought too many. Whoops, come on this way, fuck yeah. Over here. If that's done, that'll pop up. Now, do the fan. Come around to the back side. Then we do the gearbox.
Let me take it off there. Throw it back where it belongs. And, oops, radiator, that's the other thing that needs to go in the front here. Uh, everything else in the front is done. Boom. Lift it up. OHV gearbox. So, we can also pick up a better gearbox for this car as well. Uh, there. Now, exhaust pipes, so we've got two middles going to, to, okay, yeah, and what's the front? Um, one, two, where is it, metal? That should be everything. Everything else but the interior has been done. all that now pull out the interior there we go uh, okay put the standard interior back in Was a steering wheel seven. Hmm. Don't really like to look at that. I might go older. There we go. Open this up. Put some oil in it. In this game, you feel it till it f starts flowing out the top. Ready? Yeah. Now, don't get angry at me. See, look at that. Set the max. It's all good. Now, 
first thing is I shall move it to the path inspection. To give it a completely good rating, like it, that it's in mint condition. First up is the brake test for the front and the rear. Then suspension. And the rear. Now the test is complete. That's 47 parts that have been checked. I shall keep the white paint. Move the car over to the dyno. Unfortunately, unlike the others, which you could uh, do before, And you could uh, personally tune yourself. You can't in this one. So starting horsepower is 306 at 4,555 RPM with 538 at 3,205 RPM. So let's see what we get afterwards. 606 and 1039. Not bad. So I'll put it out here. And then we shall take it down to the test track. to see what it can do. Well, to now uh, check out a couple more bits and pieces for it. All the speed bump tests, whoop. So that was to check the steering, just the acceleration, so pretty much the drive line the suspension for the bumps and the brakes and handbrakes for the last bit so now that we've got that the car's been pretty much checked over everywhere now the last thing to do is to take it to the drag strip where is it? speed track And we shall see how fast this one can actually go. But as you can tell, it. Uh, for some reason, in this game, the steering just goes to absolute nothing. 
and I top out at nearly 240 k's an hour, so roughly a, I don't know how much that would be in uh, miles, sorry guys. So I return to the garage. Now that I've done all the tests, checked it over, made sure all the parts are in mint condition, even though we just put them in, you still got to do it, <clears throat> just to give it a clean bill of health. Now, I shall walk over and sell the car for 39144 Not as much as I was hoping for, but hell, it still goes alright. Puts a nice little bit of change in my pocket. Now, like I promised, we are going to my car lot. Come on, guys. Okay. So, as you can see right here, a Nissan, uh, Honda NSX. It's not Nissan, goddamn hard. All done, all ready. It's not leaving, it's mine that's staying there. Next to it, we have a Chev 150 utility sedan. All rusty, needs a lot of work. Next to that, we have a Bolt Hellcat. Yeah, it looks like a Chev Chevelle, if you ask me. Then we have next to it a Bolt Atlanta Trans Passenger, so an El Camino or a Ford Rancher. Next to that, we have a Chev Apache Lowered V8. Purple in color, as you can see. <laughs> that is my next. Uh, don't worry too much about the modded stuff. That is my next to do a vehicle. Well, one of them. Here we have a Holden HK Monaro drag car. This is an Australian car, and I will be keeping this when it is done. This is from where I live in Australia, and it is gorgeous. Then over here, as you saw when I was buying it, the Rolls-Royce Dawn. Looks quite nice, but I will not be keeping it. It will be sold because it can make me nearly a million dollars. So, there are all the cars to come. One, two, three, four, five, six... Six of them in the future as well as the one couple in the garage already. And the Nissan Skyline will be the one to join the NSX. Anyway guys, thank you for coming along and uh, restoring the car with me. I'll catch you next